Winding Brook Farm. Riding here through a really man beautiful area of New Jersey, 565 South. And we're heading over to the bridge that when you cross it, it'll take you over the Delaware Water Gap and into Pennsylvania. About 32 miles from there, not too bad. Bike's doing good, feels good. That new Commander 2 on the back feels good. Just feels a little different, you know, because after riding on a normal or not a normal tire, but a tire you've been on for a while and it's kind of all flattened out, and then you get on a round tire, everything just kind of seems like the bike just seems really quick to just fall over. You, you know, it just takes me a while to adjust. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. Was that water or bird poop? I don't know which one it was. But yeah, it takes me a little while to adjust. I see a little bit of water on my shield. And I'd assume that you guys have noticed that also. But uh you know that that flicking from the right to the left, you know, it, it kinda it's something to adjust to. There's some cows over here off to the left. That's pretty nice, huh? valves is a little off because uh it's still a little loud when i get back i'm gonna just revisit my wheel alignment a little bit i'm not sure if it's off a little but it may be i need to check it Yeah, so it's out enjoying a nice ride. And uh, hey, right, beggars can't be choosers. I gotta be glad to get a ride in any chance that I can. You know, and I'm always, that that's something I'm always grateful for. You know, as you have those days where you can't get out, you can't get around and you just can't do worth of nothing. And you hope that you can. Hampton Township. Okay. Yeah, so my uh, rear shock took a crap on me. And I've got the uh, new TCX boots on that I purchased, which have been, uh, feel really good. A little stiff. Take me a little while to get used to. I still may have to adjust my shifter because they uh, don't fit perfect under the shifter like my old boots did so I'm, I'm gonna have to adjust my shifter just up a tad maybe one notch and then I'll actually be able to rest my foot right underneath I can still shift which is nice but um you know I guess in a way it's not you will meet God you're right about that so in a way you know it's, it's not perfect but it's nice and they feel comfortable i can't complain the rear shock i actually found out was leaking and um i don't know you know i kind of noticed that the rear end felt a little spongy i was going around a corner one time and i kind of got in the corner a little hard and you know i got into it and i was kind of pushing it and the freaking bike went into a wobble and um, man, I tell you, it did this crazy little thing 
where the front end was just going boop, 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 and it went into a wobble. Holy crap. Still around the corner. I just kind of easily stayed in the gas and kept pushing on that bar to keep it in there. And a little later when I got home, I jacked it up, and I was like, all right, you know, let's revisit, you know, the alignment and such. And I look, I see oil dripping. And I'm like, whoa, what the heck? And uh, sure enough, when I look, the uh, shock was dripping. My damn, my damn shock was leaking oil all over the place. I was like, oh, okay. So that pretty much was the was the culprit of it all, and what was causing all of the what was causing that soggy rear end issue. So I ended up pulling it apart, pulled the shock apart. Not before I called Progressive. And uh, they basically told me that, you know, the shock's out of warranty, but they would have replaced it. And when they looked it up and they were like, wait, for what kind of bike? It was a V-Star 1300. They're like, oh, no, we don't make a shock for that bike. And I'm like, mm, okay, well, whatever. I mean, it was sold to me as made for the bike. So it's like, I'm not going to argue with it. You know, it was out of warranty anyway. So a little research online, I found out that you could actually pull the shock apart. The shock is able to be taken apart because they said they don't sell a rebuild kit for it. But you, 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 you yourself can pull the shock apart and, um, and rebuild it. And I pulled it apart. I cleaned out the seal. Try to be careful with those discs that are in there because you really don't <laughs> oh man you really don't want to you really don't want to mess that up so clean that out sprayed it out and it's almost almost at the point where i can put it back together it's just i i, I need a, a valve that i can hook up to a presta valve so yeah right now i got the stock in there which sucks you know it's not bad but you can you you, you you could feel that it's just not really it's not doing what it should be doing you know back there but it lets me ride for now it lets me get out there for now and you know that's something that I really can't I can't complain about Sussex County Mall anyhow short update come back when we get to the mall not the mall, the freak mall. Duh. When we come back, we get to the bridge. All right, later, guys.